is everyone today? Hi. Thank you so much for the host, Infantry Fox Rider and Rosalind. I appreciate you guys. We are in the home stretch. This is it. The last stream for the quilt along. We are assembling our blocks. We're putting it together. We are taking care of it. And then we are done. Done. Jose, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate you. This is it, guys. Sapphire! Sapphire, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. So, we only have this week. Uh, guys, I only have two streams before TwitchCon. This is it. It is today and Thursday. And that's it. I... I don't think I'm going to stream on Monday. I've got to pack. I've got to do all sorts of things. Yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, today and Thursday, and then that's it. Then it's TwitchCon, and then New York Comic Con, and then home for a few weeks, and then Quilt Market and Quilt Festival in Houston. So, yeah, yeah. I know, it's gone by too, it's gone by really, really, really fast. Like, I can't believe we're done already for the quilt along. It seems like I just started it. Uh, so today we're going to put our blocks together. I'm going to show you some sashing. I'll show you how to add extra borders if you want. Uh, and, and then that's, that's it. Uh, I keep debating if I want to make the announcement. Oh, I should pet, pet the puppers. Okay. I, I, I shall pet the puppers here. Okay, let me, there you go. Now you can see both the puppers. Hi guys. Where's Alfred? I think Alfred's still upstairs. Oh, oh no, he, oh, no, he's under there. Look, Alfred's under there. Honey, why aren't you laying in the bed? Come here. Honey, ah, there you go, is this better? Is that better? Mwah, good boys. There you go, there you go, you guys are so, ah, granite. I know, I know, honey, I know. Oh my gosh. I know, he was secret puppy. Okay, here, let's fix the camera. I know, I can't seem to get them all in there, can I? That's okay, I'll put it right in the middle. Say hi, Granite, you wanna say hi to everyone? It's been a while since you were on stream. Say hi. I'm being a butt because I'm jealous that the sick kitty's getting all the attention. I know, you're a good boy. Hey, Jan Bear. Hey, monkey. Guys? Hi, Minion Mama, how are you guys today? Yes, so I keep debating if I want to make this announcement or not. It is in regards to the quilt along. And then I decided, you know what? I'm just going to come out and do it. I'm just going to tell you guys. Uh, not today, Fox Rider. I will catch you guys up on Thursday. This is all about the quilt along today. Uh, we don't talk about other things during the quilt along stuff because this is going on YouTube. Um, so, this quilt along is being turned into a book. And the book will be available in November. We've been working hard on updating things, on layouts, on everything else. So you will be able to buy all of the patterns. Because right now you can get each of these blocks for $3 a piece. You'll be able to buy them all together in one book. So book number two is the quilt along. Um, now... For those of you that have purchased blocks um, and you want to purchase the book as well. Uh, now, this is not, of course, if you've got the free blocks, but if you purchase the blocks. I do have a record of who purchased and who used the free codes. Um, if you did purchase blocks, I will give you a coupon code so that you can have a discount on the book. Now, in addition to that, one week from today, next Monday next Monday, one week from today. Ready? Oh, I put it away, didn't I? Oh, it's right there. My current book. Thank you for subscribing Thank to Thank you Kutoni. so much for that Grab sub. I appreciate it. and head it. down to the sweatshop. Monkey! <laughs> I, I mean, factory. Monkey, thank you so much for using your Twitch Prime on me for 21 months. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. So, one week from today. You guys know what this looks like. This is my, my current book, right? This is the first one in the series. My first book. This one, as of next Monday, is available for purchase as a PDF. In addition for available for purchase, if you have a subscription to the Amazon bookshelf, whatever it's called, this is an option. 
So it will be available starting next Monday as a PDF for $9.99. You can purchase it on Amazon. You'll be able to purchase it with me. And you'll be able to uh, to use your, your Amazon monthly book subscription to borrow it if you want. All right. So those are our announcements. We've got those together. All the announcements, all the things. All right. So you ready to get sewing? All right, before we get, before we start on the actual assembly of everything, are there any questions on any of the blocks or the quilt along so far? Or should we just dive right in and, and start assembling this thing? I know, right, monkey? Like, all the squares are complete. Like, everything. Here, let me turn my iron on. Because the first thing we're going to do is iron each of these squares. I know, it really does seem to have gone by really, really fast. Well, see, and we started it in June, and this is now September. It's been three months. It's been three months since we did this. All right, so step number one is I want to take all my blocks. I want to iron my blocks. I'm going to pull out all of the extra stuff. Monkey, thank you so much for that host. I appreciate you. Now, all of this stuff right here, all of these extra little pieces, what am I going to be doing with them? Because we have a bunch of scraps left over from our quilt along. Hi, Doug, how are you? So we've got a whole bunch of scraps left over from the quilt along. So what are we gonna be doing with these scraps? The answer is we are going to work with award winning. Award-winning Janiella Macbeth, author of Scrap Stashed at Quilts. There you go. Engine, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate you. Author of Scrap Stashed at Quilts. We are going to be going to her studio in November. At the end of November, we're going to be going to her studio. We're going to be streaming live from her studio, and she's going to be teaching us different things that we can be doing with these scraps. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait. But in the meantime, I have two sets of scraps. I have two sets of scraps. I have the set of scraps of the original quilt that I made that you see the picture right there, actually to the left. But I also have another set of the scraps right here from whenever I was teaching you how to do the blocks. Because remember, I've made this quilt twice. I don't need two sets of scraps. So what I'm gonna be doing is giving them away to you. You notice how there is along the bottom of this screen, there is a bar there. The bar says we are raising money for Starlight. Starlight is an amazing, fantastic children's foundation that brings video games and 3D technology into hospitals um, to help kids. Help kids get their mind off of what they're going through. Um, helps distract them uh, from, from procedures, from all sorts of things. Uh, so Starlight's an amazing, fantastic company, fantastic charity. And we are raising money this week for Starlight. Now, on Thursday, I'll be doing a very special Twitch Sings stream starting at four o'clock Eastern time. At the end of the Twitch Sing stream, I'm going to be giving away a set of these scraps. So how do, can you win these scraps? Well, you donate to Starlight. For every $5 that you donate to Starlight, you get one ticket to win these scraps, as well as a chance to win one of five books from Jan. And I have spoken to the famous Casey Renee Cosplay. And I am giving away all of my scraps and all of her scraps from our upcoming cosplay exhibit that's going to be in Houston. <gasps> Monkey! Thank you so much, Monkey, for donating $20 to Starlight. You're freaking amazing. Thank you so much, Monkey. I love you. Thank you for donating $20 to Starlight. So, $5. Every $5 gets a ticket to win. Scraps from the quilt along, scraps from the cosplay quilt, and five copies to, five copies of this book. 
because I want to get these to you in your hands before that very special stream in November. So I want to get you excited about it. Now, if you don't sew, if you don't quilt, I'm going to be giving other things away as well. I'm going to be giving away some special Marley uh, temporary tattoos. Uh, I'm going to be giving away stickers. I'm going to be giving away maybe some dice bags. I don't know. I'm going to give some stuff away on Thursday. In other words, if you don't quilt or sew, please feel free to do it to Starlight. You could win as well. Hi. Okay. All right. Marley wants to be streamer dog. Aw, thank you so much, monkey. And and yes, Capes. Capes is alluding to me uh, put, singing <coughs> Pumps of the Heart. Hey, thank you so much for picking up this free pattern because this is free. The assembly instructions are free today. You don't need a code. All you have to do is just go and download it. So on Thursday for the Twitch Sing stream, you can pay to, re you can actually donate to Starlight to request songs. Uh, I also have a couple of other little things in there that you can do. You can get me to sing a song with my mouth full of gobstoppers. You can, no, and Marley is not a giveaway prize. No. Although he is very cute. You can also donate to Starlight on Thursday to get me to sing a song blindfolded. And guys... I don't do very good. I don't do very good with song with words. I don't know if you've noticed. I don't do very well with singing. I don't like singing. So yes, uh, Thursday is going to be a very, very interesting stream. All right. So there's all of our scraps that you get a chance to win. <coughs> Thank you so much for picking up the assembly instructions. I appreciate it. So. These are all what I'm giving away Thursday. So I'm going to take these and set these aside. All right, next. Hopefully everyone's picked up their assembly instructions by now. Step number one, you want to iron. Uh, yes, Jose, uh, if you donate the $100 for me to be blindfolded, and then you donate the $30 to request a song, so in other words, you donate $130, yes, you can request a song for me to sing blindfolded. If you just do the hundred, well then whatever song is coming up next, I do blindfold. Okay. First thing you want to do is iron and square up your blocks. Now we've already squared these blocks up. It's part of our instructions, but for some reason, some people like to wait to the very end and square them up later. So the first thing we want to do is iron this and square it up. So let's iron our blocks. Now, in the instructions, you'll notice that the actual borders, the sashing, is a bright blue. We only did that so it's easy to read, and it's easy to figure out where the sashing is. We are not using bright blue sashing, we are using a porcelain colored sashing. But of course, you can sash it and put borders on with any color you like. Uh, no monkey, not when I know the, when I don't know the words. Singing blindfolded is not going to be easy at all because I don't know the words to songs. So no, that's not going to be easier for me. There's a reason why I've never done a Twitch sing stream. I don't sing. Now, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of little threads everywhere into your blocks. So you see all these little threads that are just kind of hanging out everywhere? Those are perfectly fine. You don't have to worry about it. I normally start pulling all those out and trim them, rip them, pull them after I uh, put my entire quilt together. Because that's, that's just the, um, the threads that are coming off. Thank you so much for picking up the assembly instructions. I appreciate it. Oops. Oops. I dropped a little piece. It was right there. Oh no, I know you 
don't dance engine, that doesn't mean I'm not going to force you to dance. Just like I don't sing, but you guys have forced my hand and you're forcing me to sing. Now, this part's a little bit boring because all I'm doing is ironing out my blocks. But remember, guys, this is the foundation for your quilt. You need to make sure it gets completely ironed out. Now, if you are a sewer, if you would like another kind of quilt along. Now, remember, it must be video game, comic book, or pop culture. That's the kind of quilts that I deal with. Video game, comic book, pop culture. If you would like another quilt along, let me know the theme. So if there's anyone here in chat that wants a different kind of quilt along, maybe another video game one, maybe a Sega one this time, or an Activision. God, I love Activision. It's funny, I tried to get some of the games like Burger, like Burger Time and everything else. And Nicole's like, I don't, I've never played any of these games. And I'm like, come on! Hi, Shoe Eater, how are you? Pokemon Starter Quilt Peak. Oh! That's not bad. Now, can you get 12 blocks out of it, though, Fox Rider? Because remember, there's 12 blocks in a quilt. And can we get the Pokemon within this little space? Because remember, we've got to figure out how to get into that little space. I, I have an issue with um, Pikachu within a big space. Like, I keep trying to get it and I can't seem to do it. Oh, there are more than 12 starters? Oh, okay. Nope, we can't do bigger squares because then it would be a gigantic quilt. So you have to be able to make sure that you keep it within a small square. So 18 inches is already pushing it for a bigger, for a uh, quilt block. The, yes, they're pixelated, but not within this space is the problem. Aw, Jan Bear, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Jose. I super appreciate you. 20 feet, yeah, no, yeah, that's way too big. So that's the problem, right? You have to make sure that you can fit it within that small space. And we're also, we, and also, I am not just going to take something that's already pixelated. I, we have to be able to redo it in our own style and design. Because if I just take a sprite from a game and pop it onto something, I am now doing copyright infringement, which I am not going to do. Every single one of these blocks that we've done here has been inspired by something, but it has been reworked with our own style and our own way of doing it. Oh yeah, no, and this is already a big blanket. This is already going to be a big quilt, as you'll see when we finish assembling all this. All right, there we go. All of our blocks are ironed and ready to go. Okay, so uh, I could not do a logo, no. Uh, no logos, no trademarks at all, because then it's copyright infringement. So no, I could I could maybe do some Avengers in a little in the little chibi style kind of thing, the small stuff, but I would not do a logo. Okay, so let's do this. So we need our sashing fabric. So let me grab sashing fabric. All right. Yeah, I have a lot 
uh, sashing fabric. I don't need that. Yep. Now, basically with copyright, you can have things that are inspired by other things, but it cannot be in the same format. Uh, it also has to be your own style, your own artistic in interpretations. See, and I know, and I was thinking about that too, Nikki, but there are, there's already three Harry Potter quilt alongs going on right now. Well, seen Fox Rider, I like the super cute forest animals, but it's not pop culture, video game, or comic book. Sailor Moon, Little Chibi Scouts, that's an idea. Now, is there enough interest worldwide for a Sailor Moon type, type uh, quilt along? Yes, I know. You would you would like Elton John. I know, Capes. Uh, pop culture is things that are popular in the... So, popular culture is what pop culture means. So, um, right now, Handmaid's Tale. Um, uh, Sailor Moon. Elton John. Basically, books, movies, and television is pop culture. Doctor Who is pop culture. See, and I was thinking about doing an anime style quilt along. The only problem with that is I don't know if it would go beyond our little reach. So I don't know. Because the thing is, is remember, I need to appeal to quilt stores as well as uh, traditional quilters. Not only you guys, but everything. The house signals? No. House signals would be um, trademarks. Would be logos. So I could not do house signals, but that's a good question, Nitty Nerdy. Yeah, you know what? We could do a Doctor Who. And then Pokemon. You know what? Let me write these down. Because whenever... So if we do another quilt along, we'll probably start it again next summer, but it'll be one block a month. This this one block a week has been killing me. Like, it has been so ridiculous. Quilt along. Okay, so ones I like so far are Pokemon, Doctor Who... Harry Potter. No, unfortunately, any you cannot do even a pick any interpretation. No logos, no trademarks. Period. Like the moment, Marin, thank you so much for the host. The moment that you do a logo or trademark, you are caught. You're infringing on copyright. Nikki. Way to think outside the box. Droids. So, like, Star Wars, Portal, um, um, uh, what's the game that Lego's playing that he may give up now? Uh, Borderlands. Borderlands. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, all right. What am I cutting? I'm cutting four strips of three and a half inches. All right, let's cut four inches of three and a half. Four strips of three and a half inches. All right, so there's one, two, three. I remember I squared this up, so I'm going to take that and throw that aside. Two, three. Term oh you, now would that be for the droid or you know what we could also do a robot one. We can do robots and droids. What I guess Terminator would be a droid. Yeah, because that would be ro robot, robots and droids. I like that. I like that. That's not a bad idea. Okay. All right, we need one more. Two, 
There we go. I like, see, I would do an entire Doctor Who. I wouldn't do just the villains. Just because it'd be, it'd be hard to pixelate them within a small space. Okay, so where is... You know what, and if you guys want me to cosplay a Dragon Con in whatever you want to pick, that's fine if you make it for me. Well, I'll just, I'll just put that out there. If I'm not making it, I, I will wear whatever you want me to wear. Okay, we've got... I'm skipping down to see how many more I need. Okay, so that is for this one. And then later on, because I want to cut all my things right away, right? Okay, so from the sashing fabric, cut eight strips. Okay, eight strips of the three and a half. One, two, three. As long as it's PG, remember. So there's three. Oh, Jose, a Johnny Five. Yes. Man, Short Circuit was the best. Four, five, six. Now, technically what we're doing right now is not a border. What we're doing right now is the sashing. Sashing is what goes between your blocks to bring it all together. You know what? That's a good idea too, Fox Rider. Because it all depends, because Nicole does all the design, right? So, Stranger Things. Okay. Seven, eight. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got all of our sashing fabric cut. I don't need the rest of this sashing fabric. I will toss it aside. Fantastic. Okay, next. Yeah, no, these are some really good ideas. I really like these. Really, really like these. Okay, so now let's go back up to step number two. So I'm going to cut these strips into three and a half by 18 inches. So they're already three and a half inches wide. So now I cut them into 18 inches. And yes, the leftover fabric from this sashing is going into the pile of the, um, uh, no, I could not do anything Disney. As a rule, don't mess with the mouse. So no, I could not do anything Disney at all. Um, what is, oh, if I pixelate a style like Funko. It depends, Rosalind, it, again, it depends. If it's, a, if it's a trademark or copyright, yes. If it is an interpretation in a different style inspired by, no. It would, but unfortunately, no, Nikki. Uh, even though you're in the right. Even if you are in the right. They would bury you under so much litigation that you would not see the light of day. Whether you are in the right or not. So just don't even... Yes, Kirby is Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo. In fact, that's what this quilt is, Fox Rider. Do, 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 you, see, do you see what we've done here? Uh, Nintendo is one of the companies that actually bless interpretations. And they love seeing this stuff. As long as you do not... As long as you do not infringe on any copyrights or trademarks. So I can't say Nintendo. Um, I can't have, you know, I can't do specific things in there, but Nintendo is really, really cool that they love, 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 love stuff like this. Okay. So we want to cut. Okay. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, yes, okay. I'm just making sure that I'm doing this correct. And I am. All right, let's fold these up. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm cutting these into 18 inch strips. No, yeah, no, it's Nin Nintendo actually likes stuff like this. They are one of the, the few companies where uh, I think whenever I initially started quilting, one of my pixelated quilts, which was um, a Nintendo character, I don't remember if it was a Mario or if it was a Final Fantasy, uh, Nintendo actually put it on their social media. Yes, no, and Fox Rider, remember, this has to be a quilt along. So we're, we're getting ideas for quilts, quilt alongs that other people are going to pay for the pattern to do it. So it has to be an overall thing. Hey, Jacko, how are you? There we are. Scraps. Oops. Sorry, Marley. That's trash. Alright, so then, I didn't even walk through what I'm doing. So remember, same exact thing as I like doing before. I like layering strips. So I like layering strips. So that means I'm going to take one strip and lay it on top of the other strip and cut them both at the same time. It saves money. Ooh, Nikki! Way to pull out those winners! Saturday morning cartoons. I like it! Nice job, Nikki! There we go. And 18 inches. Okay, this is trash. This goes into the things. Yeah, no, that could definitely work. Now remember, it all depends on if Nicole gets inspiration when she designs things. If she can't think of any pixelating um, ideas, then it wouldn't work. Okay, so I need the dog. The Metroid. Let me find the dog. Here's the dog. And my alien parasite. Now, you notice how these are obviously inspired by Nintendo things. But this is Laughing Dog. This is Alien Parasite. The names are copyrighted. I am not infringing by calling them their names. This is why this is Alien Parasite. Okay, and then the other two. Um, it would, I don't know if I would want to do an Olympics quilt because that's just not my target market. Okay, Mario and the duck. Because you have to think about my line of patterns and books so far. So we have to keep it along the same lines. And I don't, I don't really do sports. There we go. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you have, um, uh, if you have suggestions of your own, please feel free to put them in the chat. Good morning, Spava. How are you today? Okay, so now what we're gonna be doing, in fact, let me switch it to the other view. What we're gonna be doing is taking these strips that we have cut to three and a half by 18, and we're going to be sewing them to the left and to the right of each of these blocks. Because remember, we already squared these up to 18 inches. So now, how you do that is you put, you, you attach it to the one side, attach it to the other side so it's perfectly lined up, smooth the whole thing out so it's nice and straight, and then put pins in through here. Or clips, however you, Thank you, you actually do it. Thank you for subscribing to Quiltoni. 
Grab your needles and head down to the sweatshop. <coughs> I, I mean, factory. Aw, Janice, thank you so much for the one year resub. I super appreciate you. Thank you very much, Janice. Uh, yes, they did. Yes, they did, Fox Rider. See, so I like that idea, Fox Rider, the pets of... I don't know if Nicole Thank you for could get enough to inspiration for that. Jan, Sapphire! And down to the sweatshop. <coughs> I, I mean, factory. Sapphire, thank you so much for 17 months for that resub. I super appreciate you. Yes, no, it's- you definitely do not want to mess with the, uh... Hi! Uh, uh, no, Fox Rider, I wouldn't want to keep to something that's- yes, it's- number one, it's Disney. Number two, I wouldn't just want to do a movie if it was coming out. If it was a cult classic that people are obsessed over and that people will love for generations to come. Because remember, this is also my business. I need to make money. So I need to make sure that people are willing to pay for a pattern or a book. So that's what we have to think about with the, uh, with the topics. Zombies would, but I am not a big zombie person, so I would not want to do zombies. Could we get... Could we get 12 blocks for Rocky Horror, though? Like, 12 iconic blocks? Are they iconic enough to where you could make a small little pixelated character and have it be identifiable? Obviously, the main character is. But is there enough for the others? See, and that's the thing. It has to be iconic. It has to have something that, that you can recognize that. So if somebody could just look at the quilt and go, oh, that's a Rocky Horror. There we are. Okay, so this is pinned, so I'm going to take this and set this aside. And we need to do that four times. Now I want to remind everyone that is, um, that is subbing uh, and throwing bits and all the other things. Our giveaways are going to be done Thursday during our charity event. So Thursday, starting at 4 o'clock, is our charity event. We'll be doing giveaways then. I thought about, ooh, Nikki, that's a good way to figure that out, cult movies. So Rocky Horror, Princess Bride, I like that. Yeah, that's a good way to incorporate the Rocky Horror, yeah. Like what, Jose? Which ones? Uh, Fox Rider, I thought about Lord of the Rings before. We actually are having problems figuring out pixelating and designing Lord of the Rings stuff. It just doesn't translate well to a small surface for a block. So, Jose, do you mean like Transformers, He-Man, those are really shows, though, not movies. Ugh. I dropped some pins. Ugh. Okay, yeah, I'll write that one down. So, 80s movies. Never-ending story... 
dark crystal. See, again with those, I don't know if we're going to be able to translate that well to a small block. But I, I, I'll, give, I'll give Nicole the ideas. Because Nicole is the designer. I'm just the quilter and pattern maker. Nicole is the important one. She's a designer. Uh, Fox Rider, we looked at that before about doing power-ups within this quilt. As you see, we have the coins. We decided against that. It just wasn't going to be iconic enough to non-video game players. Because remember, I have to appeal to quilt stores and quilters as well as those of us here on Twitch. Thank you for subscribing to Quiltoni. Grab your needles and head down to the sweatshop. <coughs> I, I mean... Factory. Airhawk, thank you. Thank you so much for your tier six resub. A tier six. Tier one, six month. I could talk. Oh my gosh, I could talk today. Seriously. Um, and we can't get, that's too small. 18 inches by 18 inches. We can't get all those words in a block, Azalita. So it is, remember, you. it's, okay, let's put it this way. Pixels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sixteen blocks. You'd have to fit it. Sixteen blocks to sixteen blocks. Uh, we thought about that too, Rosalind, but you can't get twelve. Because you need twelve blocks. No, Good Omens is not... Uh, yes, all of a sudden, it's an upturn right now. We have to think long-term. Remember, I said this before. Nothing that's popular at the moment. Unless it has been popular for a long time. Um, Terry Pratchett is a good idea, but that would only appeal to Terry Pratchett, Pratchett fans. We need something, remember, that's going to appeal to all sorts of people. Yes, there really was a lot of good omens cosplay at Dragon Con. And just because if I say no to an idea doesn't mean it's not a good idea. There's just one reason or another why I couldn't do it. Because you guys are giving me some really, really great ideas. I don't, as later, that's too narrow. I don't think that would appeal to a wide range of people. Uh, no, I did not, Infestry. Is it a horror movie? If so, I would never watch it. I do not do horror, which is why I wouldn't do a zombies quilt. I am not a horror person, does not appeal to me. Yeah, I know, right? I like the Saturday morning cartoons too. See, and a D and D quote would be good too, but I don't know if it's widespread enough. Maybe, oh, oh! Tabletop games. We could do a Monopoly. We can do Clue. Then you could have a D20. Ooh, tabletop games. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, we've, we pixelated dice shapes before. We figured it out. Oh, Snick on... Okay, Ampus Street. In the 90s, I was in university. Remember, I'm old. Yeah. Parcheesi! Yes! But like a little Parcheesi, it'll be the same thing as a Sorry. Like the little, little dice thing would be both for Parcheesi and, and Sorry. Candyland, Shoots and Ladders, or what they call here in Canada, Snakes and... 
Sh snakes and shoots? Snakes and slides? I don't know what it is. It's something. It's not shoots and ladders. Not all board games are owned by Disney, no. Snakes and ladders. Okay, snakes and ladders in Mexico, yeah. Yeah, Trivia Pursuit? Yeah, that's another good one. The, the, the little, uh... The little thing. Now, I know Nicole's not going to start um, designing anything until after New York Comic Con. Because let's be honest, she is super stressed right now. Trying to get all of her stuff together in her inventory for New York Comic Con. Because New York Comic Con is her best show of the year. All right, last one. And then we will sew this. Too specific, Fox Rider. Way too specific. So the only ones that would ever pay for that pattern are people that like not only Pokemon, but Eevee as well. Remember, we have to be as broad as possible. Not, we cannot be that specific. Which is why, like, a whole quilt, uh, a whole pattern of Clue probably wouldn't work. But Clue as a block within an entire board game quilt, that would work. I know, baby. Let's turn this. Let's put the last one in. Yep, and cribbage would be in there too. Wrist, gravel. Yeah, oh yeah. No, these are all good ones. They would be in the board game one. Battleship. That's another good one. I don't know if we could fit Battleship into that small block, but it's an idea. Okay. Now we have sewn our sashing to our left and our right. So now let's sew on the machine. Oh my gosh, I know. I know. You are such a good boy. Oh my god, you are such a mooch. I like how he throws himself back because he wants me to rub his belly. Hi. Oh, Jose, I was thinking a candlestick. You have just followed Quiltoni. Your taste must be. How exquisite. do I say your name? <laughs> Pazinga? Thank you so much for uh, picking up this free pattern. I appreciate you. Paz Pazinga? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Hi. All right, I, I gotta put you over here, okay? Oh, I gotta put you over there. All right. So now we're going to sew with a quarter inch zingette. Okay, so the P is silent. Got it. I got it, zingette. I can do that. All right. Remember, we want to do, oops, nope, I got the wrong thread in the top. I was uh, sewing binding onto my cosplay quilts. So I had my light blue thread, which is the color of the binding. Maybe, Nikki, that's the thing. I don't know if we can get a ship in there, but I can suggest it to Nicole. I keep forgetting. I gotta put that down. Nope. Yep. 
the threader is broken. There we go. Okay, we want to make sure that snarky sewist, that is a great idea for a book, but not for a quilt along. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you'd be pixelating the letters or some or or appliquing the letters on after making the blocks. That's a great idea for a quilt for a book, but not for a quilt along. Okay. So we want to do, remember, we want to do our um, chain sewing. So we want to keep something in the machine at all times. And I may, and remember, do as I say, not as I do. Do not sew over your pins. It is a horrible habit that I have. You could damage your machine. You could break the, ne the, the needles. Hi, Mandy, how are you? You could break the needles, but if you do sew over your pins, make sure your hand stays back here to help it through if it gets stuck. Because it, it, it gets stuck sometimes over top of those pins. All right, so let's sew the sashing. And let's take these pins out and then flip it to the other side. There we go. Perfect. Now, remember, we are raising money for Starlight. You get a chance to win the scraps from this quilt, as well as the scraps from the cosplay Thank you for quilt. Thank to Who Tony. Grab your Mandy. needles and head down to the sweatshop. <coughs> I, I mean, factory. Looking forward to giving you a hug at TwitchCon. I get a hug from Mandy Pandy. I get a hug from Mandy Pandy. Thank you. Thank you so much for your, for your resub for nine months. We got a Twitch baby. All right, Mandy, what's our Twitch baby called? What's the name of our Twitch baby? Thank you. Thank you very much. I super appreciate you. All right. I think, yep, this one is good. All right, uh, what was I saying? Oh yes, raising money for Starlight. Every $5 you donate, you get a ticket to win two sets of scraps or one of five books from Jan that we'll be using in the very special stream in November for what to do with the scraps from this quilt along. If you're watching on YouTube, if this is before December of 2019, it'll be up in December. If this is after December 9, 2019, make sure you look for that video. It should be up and you can watch what we did with our scraps. Go. And I'm going to go on a little bit of a, of a side street for really quickly. Uh, guys, please don't forget, if you see me at a convention, whether it is TwitchCon, whether it's Quilt Festival, whether it's Market, uh, whether you bring me to your local quilt show, quilt show, guild, or store, if you know me, and if I know who you are, but I may not remember your face, Please, before you go in the hug, say who you are. Be like, I'm Jose. Hug. No, that's bingo. That's bingo, Jose. I wasn't going to say the rules for hugging me, although you can go do that too. Yeah, those are the wrong rules. I think it was, no, I think it was exclamation hug or something. You're the one that put him in.
Nope, maybe it's not hug. I don't know. I don't know. Because, guys, you know what I look like. I don't remember what you look like. There we go, con hugs. Thanks, Nikki. And yes, remember, if you go in for a hug, I am a hugger. I love hugs. If you go in for a hug, there's three rules. Okay, you can't smell. That means no perfume, no cologne, no Axe body spray. I'm very sensitive to smells. No, no smells. You have to be wearing, de uh, you have to have taken a shower within 24 hours. Oh, and also the no smells, wear deodorant. You must have taken a shower within 24 hours. If this is day three of con, you better have been showered. And rule number three, don't make it creepy. Like, seriously, please. Please don't make it creepy. And there's a reason why that rule is in place, because someone did make it creepy one time, and I was like, dude, I'm not hugging you again. I don't care if you're joking. I ain't hugging you again. Yes. Oh, yes. No, no, but I mean, I love it when people hug me. That's fine. Give me hugs. I will hug all the peoples. But chances are, if I know who you are, the hug will be even better. Because then I'll, like, give you a real hug. Like, if you don't... Oops, nope. I was getting all... Ang I was getting ahead of myself and taking that up before I was ready. Like a dragon con. I had a, um... <laughs> I'm asking you to hug the pupper instead. I won't have the pupper, though! I, uh, there was a lady at, um, at Dragon Con that came up to me, and that she was very, very excited to see me, and, and she wanted to give me a hug, and I gave her a hug, and then I found out who she was. It was somebody that has been a fan of mine for years. Like, follows all my social media. Like, a, a quilt fan of mine. And she made the Dragon Con charity quilt this year. And I'm like... And then I gave her another hug because I wanted to be a better hug. Because now I know who she was. Right? Oh, we can do a fist bump. Now, and that's being said. If I ever go in for the hug. If I ever go for the hug, I do this. Okay? Okay. You can either do this back, and then we hug, or you can do this. If you don't, if you're not a hugger, you just do that. I'll fist bump you. Fist bumps are fine. Hey, Lethal Bacon! How are you? Alright, this is our last one. We've got our sashing on both sides. There we go, and then we're gonna take our scrap fabric and put that in there, because remember, we are chaining. So we're having something in our machine at all times. Nice, nice Lethal Bacon, that's awesome. Go enjoy your meeting, Checo, thanks for being here. I appreciate you. No, no, Jose, that's not who made it creepy at all. No, no, he's got permission. Okay, so let's move to... Oh, there it is. There it is. Um, iron, there we go. Okay, so let's iron this. So what we want to do is we want to iron this. Now, we can, we can iron our seam open, we can, or we can iron it to a side. The rest of the quilt, we have ironed it to a side, so it honestly is not going to add any more bulk if you iron it to a side. I am a fan, and this is in the instructions, I am a fan of ironing away from the block. Because you see how, how easy that was? There you go. Let's turn around the other way. Remember, we want to lock that seam in. So iron the seam first. And then iron it away. Yes, 
this is another fabric from the um, Toscana line from Northcott. The name of this fabric is porcelain. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, there's one. One down, three to go. So you're doing the same exact thing. Now, if you decide that you do not want your layout the same as mine, that is perfectly fine. This is your quilt. You can lay it out any way you like. Just make sure that whatever you want for those center blocks is what you do this with. There you go. And of course, as Alita, if you were able to come and minion for me a festival, you will see this in person because you will see this finished quilt hanging in my booth. mean that you can come Wednesday if you can't make it to our oh and that's of course it is um, and this is goes for everybody uh, if you are in the Houston area or you're going to quilt market or quilt festival we are having a community meetup day November as 2019 but if you're watching on YouTube we do it every year right before um, right before festival after market um, no, October. October the 29th. Okay, let me know. October the 29th. We are going to NASA. We are having a community meetup day. And everyone is invited. So if you are going to Houston for either market or festival, it's in between them. If you want to stay late for market or come early for festival. Oops, that was upside down. It would not be good if it was upside down. There we are. I've got those. Fantastic. Yeah, we'll talk about it after stream, Azalita. That would be awesome. Okay. All right. So now we want to assemble these. So what I want to do is assemble just like it is. So here's the duck. So I want to find the whale and the light mage. Here's the light mage. Oh, and the whale. Fantastic. Okay. So the light mage, you want to go to the left. So we want to put that there. So I'm going to take this and fold this over here and line this up and pin it. Now, and as Alita, as you're looking at um, flights, if you can't get in till Thursday, that's perfectly fine. Uh, preview night's Wednesday night, but then the actual show itself doesn't start till Thursday. Here we are, let's sew that side. Because remember, we wanna sew the sides, we wanna pin the sides first and then work our way in. All right, and then let's do the other side. Now the other side is the death whale. Just like that. So I'm going to fold this over here. There we go. And let's pin the sides. Let's stretch this out a bit. Perfect. Perfect. 
and pin all this in place. And we're going to be doing this for each of the four rows. All right, so let's fold that. I'm going to take this and set this aside because that one's ready for sewing. All right, next, the, the uh, alien parasite. I need coins and the puzzle. So here's the puzzle and then the coins. Here is the coins. Now, the coins, I always mess up if it's upside down or not. The black's got to go on the right-hand side. That's how you know it's the correct way up. Let's fold that in. And then pin it with whatever method you like. Whether it's wonder clips, pins, whatever you like. Let's flip this around. And let's make sure that I do not get this upside down. Yes. Just like this. Because has Tony assembled blocks upside down before? What do you think? I, I, I don't think that's something that I would do. Assemble blocks upside down. sure you put a pin in it. You want to make sure that you have pins in all of your seams because as you're sewing it together you want to make sure that none of the seams flip and cause more bulk. Okay, our plumber hero. Plumber hero, we need this one on the right and this one on the left. There we go. Yeah, and like I was saying, our next quilt along, I'll just have a monthly one. Well, the stream once a month. Because, I, I mean, this, this weekly format's been killing me. I'm like, I didn't realize how tiring this would be. And then if we do a monthly format, chances are I'm not going to have to do a, a stream while I'm on the road. I can just be here in my home studio doing it. We could release the blocks the first of the month. And then uh, whenever the block is released, we can announce when I'm streaming it. And then that guy. All right, let's turn this. All right. 
right, and one more row, and then we'll sew these together. Now, after we sew the left and the right blocks onto our center blocks, the next step is to combine the sashing to sew to the top and the bottoms of each of these rows. All right, there's three, and then our last row. Okay, our last row. That guy goes over there, and this guy goes over here. So let's go put this one on. Now, this is the same technique that you would use for t-shirt quilts. Once you have your t-shirts, all laid, cut out and you have the actual blocks done. This is the same technique that you would use for your sashing. It's funny, I have been so busy lately, I had to make a decision of things to cut out, and so I cut out t-shirt quilts. I'm not gonna be making them anymore. So just since I've cut them out, in the past week I've had five requests for t-shirt quilts and I'm like I'm sorry I don't have the time I can't do them and then I referred them to uh, two cool t-shirt quilts is this the uh, the web address she is amazing with her t-shirt quilts and what she does it is just super super cool there we go Yes, it's, oh, there's lots of t-shirt quilt services. Nice, Sapphire. I am so glad. I am glad it turned out well. Well, especially because I met the lady that runs two cool t-shirt quilts. And she's a really great lady. She's super nice. Super just amazing. And she does a really, really good job. There we go. All right, let's sew these. Oh, you did a queen size quilt. It was your was it your first t-shirt quilt and you did a queen size? All right, so keeping with the chaining. There we are. Oh my gosh. So, you did, okay, not only was it your first queen size quilt, which is hard, because as it gets bigger, it gets more cumbersome, and it's hard, bulk management, right? What I talk about when I free motion quilt, bulk management. The bigger the quilt, the bigger bulk management you have. So you not only have to worry about that, but of course, it's the first t-shirt quilt. All right, so, my first t-shirt quilt, ready, get this, was a commission. So the first one I did, I did as a commission, it was a king size quilt. Poor, poor naive Tony. Poor innocent naive Tony. She thought, oh, t-shirt quilt, that's going to be easy. There's nothing different than regular fabric. Oh, you know I undercharged. You know I undercharged. But that was also, I got that after my very first convention ever. So that was eight years ago I did that one. So it was after the very first convention I'd ever done. I had no clue what I was doing. It turned out really, really good. Like, I was really proud of it. I was really happy with it. Oh, yes. No, no. You can definitely underestimate those things. Yes. I think I charged like $500. 
Oh no, I definitely undercharged that. Definitely. That's funny, Snarky Soas. Oh, that's really funny. Oh, yeah, no, I'll give you... It's only a hundred bucks, right? Because, you know... That's not gonna take you any time at all. It's gonna take you, like, three hours, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and knit. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, I'll give you all the materials. Here's all my t-shirts and some knit fabric. No. No. Guys, don't use knit fabric with your t-shirt quilts, please. That's just asking for trouble. Yes, I know my potion's ready. Thank you. That was for my Harry Potter game. My, my potion's ready. There we go. <gasps> I know, right? No, I'm sorry. When someone does that, that's when I educate them. And I'm all, I'm all like... I know I've told the story of the celebrity at New York Comic Con, right? I don't know. I don't think I've told it through, during the quilt along, though. So this, if I tell it, maybe the first time that YouTube gets to hear it. Use only super stretchy fabrics for quilts and make sure all the stretches go all different ways. Yes, yes. Capes. And your stretchy fabrics have to have fire engines on them. All right, so ready to ready New York Comic Con story. Four years ago, I'm at New York Comic Con, and C-list celebrity comes up, and I actually didn't recognize them. So when, one of my minions recognized them after they left. Uh, C-list celebrity comes up and they point to that to a quilt that's hanging and he's, then, you know, C-list celebrity says, how much for that quilt? It was a panel quilt, so it was $75. So, uh, so I told them. I'm trying not to use pronouns. So I told them. And C-list uh, celebrity says, would you take 50? I said, no, it is a handmade quilt. It is not manufactured, meaning that I personally have to put that together and it's gonna cost me the same amount of time and money to put together five as it would put together one. I am not saving any time. The more that I do, it's a firm price because it's handmade. It is $75. And c -list Celebrity says, okay, and walks away. This is Thursday now, Thursday afternoon. Saturday morning, C-list celebrity comes by, points to the quilt, and says, how much for that quilt? Same quilt. I said, $75. He says, will you take 50? I said, no, I will not. It is handmade. It takes me the same amount of time and money in order to make this quilt, no matter how many I make, it is handmade. It is $75. Okay. Sunday. Show's over. We're bro breaking down. We're putting things away. Okay. Packing up to go home. Almost everything is away in bins. C-list celebrity comes over. Says, hey, do you still have that quilt that I was looking for? And I said, yeah, I, I do still have it. C-list celebrity says, can I see it? Okay. So we stop what we're doing. I go through and I try to figure out which bin it's in. I find it, I pull it out, and I show them. Sorry, I used a pronoun. Show them. And C-list celebrity. I kid you not. 
says, will you take $50 now? I don't care if you're an any kind of celebrity. I don't care who you are. And I looked at them and I said, I am not selling it to you now. No matter what you do, please go away. And I turned my back on them and I finished packing. The problem with conventions is there is a assumption with conventions that you can get Sunday deals because people may or may not have made money. Um, and they're trying to get rid of whatever is left. So it's less for them to take with them or pack up and go home. Where did my scrap go? I lost my scrap fabric. Ow. A pin went in my thumb. Oh, there it is. I dropped it. I dropped it. So. Exactly, Capes. Exactly. So. There is that, that feeling that Sunday you can offer less money for things if they're still there and you can take them. That is never the case with handmade. I'm sorry. It took my time and effort to make that quilt. I will just pack it up and take it to the next event or list it for sale online in my store. I'm sorry. I am not taking less than what it's worth. Because then that devalues me, it devalues you, it devalues anyone that makes quilts and sells them. So no, I'm not going to do that. Yep, exactly, Crystal. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's iron this. Let's iron this baby. Okay, so we've got our rows sewn. Now, at this point, same thing as before. You can iron it away. You can iron it towards. It really doesn't make, you can iron them open. Really does not make a difference how you iron these. Personally, I think it's just easier to iron it away. All right, let's turn this around and let's lock our seams in. And it's the problem is that people just don't understand. They don't know. If you have not been exposed to it, you're not going to know. So it's my job to educate them, which is why Whenever someone says, will you take this? I say, no, it's handmade and explain why I would not take a lower price. Just because somebody makes something doesn't make what they do any less valuable than what you do. Because it's still a job and they still need to get paid for that job. You are not just paying for the product. You're paying for the years of expertise that I have that went into making that product. Yep, exactly, Nikki. And that's why I, and you know what, when someone tells me that, I say, well, then that's fine. Go to Walmart and buy that $10 blanket. And they say, but I don't like it. I want, I like this one. Well, then it's $75. And that's the thing that I try to help new artisans. Um, new artisans don't they, they think that what they do is 
isn't worth it yet, and so they don't value themselves, or they think, oh, no one's gonna pay that price, so I'm gonna charge this small price. People will only value what you make if you value it. If you don't value it, no one is going to value it because it's going to show. Sometimes if someone sells something for super, super cheap, people get suspicious. What's wrong with it? If this is handmade and it's this cheap, why is it this cheap? What's wrong with it? Well, what's wrong with it is the person didn't value themselves. All right, one more, that's three. Exactly, Minion Mama. If I were to take less money for something, I am not only hurting myself, I'm hurting every single one of you. Because if you make some, okay, for a second there, I thought I put this upside down. Because if you make something handmade, and you need to value it. Man, I love these Toscana fabrics. Yes, exactly. And, and, and Riel, I know you are one of the best people for paying people. So for those of you that don't know Anne Real, she owns um, Cosmic Fabric Creations, which is a fabric company. She does knits as well as, um, what is clothing fabric? What material is that? And cotton for quilting. You know what? I have all of this scrap fabric that I have been trying to figure out what to do. This is leftover scrap fabric from Cosmic Fabric Creations because this is the kind of stuff that she does. And right now she's taking orders for, for the rainbow fabric. I don't think I have a lot of the rainbow fabric left, do I? No. So there's that one. She's taking orders for that one. And, and this one. Woven, cotton, French terry, minky, double minky. Nice, nice. So, you know what? I just made a, I made an executive decision. I can't really do a lot with these scraps because they're too small for dice bags. Because these are the scraps from my, um, that she, the fabric that she sent me. And I mean, look at this Zelda fabric. Isn't that amazing? This is cool freaking Zelda fabric. So, yes, it is. It is. There's no dragon, but it is the Marriott carpet. So, you know what? This stack of fabric right here, I'm going to give away on Thursday. Let's do that. So, now, I'm not only giving away the scraps from this quilt and the scraps from the cosplay quilt and cosplays, but I'm going to be giving away the scraps from Cosmic Fabric Creations. So if you would like to win, and I'm also giving away five copies of this amazing book, Scrap Stash of Quilts. So how can you win? How can you win this stuff? Donate to Starlight. Every $5 you donate to Starlight, you get one ticket to win one of three sets of scrap fabrics and and one of five books. If you don't quilt or sew, I am going to be giving away a bunch of other things as well. And we are doing this on Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. All right. Let's do our rows. All right. So we're going down to number five. Number five, from the sashing fabric, cut eight strips, we did. Cut three of them in half. Okay, one, two, three. So we're cutting three of them in half. Thank you so much, Jose. So yes, guys, if you would like to win any of those fabrics or a book, or you just wanna be a great person and donate to an amazing cause, 
Starlight is an amazing, fantastic charity that provides video games and 3D technology to children that are in the hospital. That's the link right there to donate that, that Jose put up there. Okay, so we cut those in half. Now, some... Sew these half strips to the remaining five strips of fabric, creating five strips of fabric at least 60 inches long. Okay, cut these strips down to three and a half by 59 inches. Okay. So. We are going to sew these together. So I'm going to trim. And pin. There's the pins. I'll shut off all my pins. I haven't decided if I'm going to be putting the Twitch thing stream on YouTube yet. Because I don't know if I want YouTube to see me make a fool of myself. I'll make the decision Friday. Now, whenever you are sewing these together, you are sewing right sides to right sides. So, the one on the bottom is face up, the one on the top is face down. Now, you can assemble these like you assemble binding on the edge, so with, a, with an angle. Personally, I don't think it makes a difference. For, for sashing and for borders, I think just regular is fine. But there's a lot of people that say, no, 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 it has to be on the diagonal. If you want to add it on the diagonal, this is what you do. You place it there. You place this here. So face up, face down, just like the thing. Hey, Sharona. And then you draw a line from there to there. Sew that, trim it, iron it open. As you're watching, anytime you see a leftover scrap fabric, it is going in the pile to give away to you guys. Excuse me? Excuse me, Henry? You're Can I can I show this fabric on the stream, Henry? That's cute. Okay. All right, you guys want to see what Anne Reynolds just donated? So she is donating a yard of woven. Hmm. Huh. I don't think I can share Discord, can I? Let me try. There you go. So Anne Reeld is donating a yard of this on Thursday. So we have three sets of scraps, a yard of that fabric, and five books, all for charity on this Thursday. This Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. I know, isn't that awesome? Isn't that fantastic fabric? Yeah, it's really good. It is really, really good. Thank you, Anne Reeld. I appreciate that. So, if you want to win that fabric, you must donate to Starlight. 
exclamation starlight for the link to donate. Every $5 gets you one ticket to win, and it is good for a fantastic cause. I don't know if anyone's noticed this today. Oh, I don't have a close-up on here, do I? Oh, where's my close-up? There we go. I am wearing my, my St. Oh, I, I have a floating tip cup. You like that? I'm wearing my St. Jude's t-shirt because charity. It is all for charity. All for charity. See, the close-up cam is for me to be sitting down so I can make faces at you. And give you a disappointed mom look. No, never ever stop calamity. I agree. Cause and and this this applies to so many charities. And I am very very passionate about charity. And I am very. And in fact, it's funny. All of a sudden, I keep getting all of these different charities emailing me, and like, hey, can we work with you? Hey, can we work with you? And I'm like. I can't work with all of you, but I will try. And Evan, any charity that I work with, you know I've researched thoroughly. I research them thoroughly to make sure that A, they're an upstanding charity, B, they are amazing, and C, they do what they say they're going to do. Alright, scrap. This is going in the pile that you can win on Thursday. All right, let's sew these. Oh. So I am sewing these also with a quarter inch seam. If you're gonna sew them on the diagonal, you also can do it on a quarter inch seam. And remember, I am still using my quarter inch piecing foot with a guide. If the fabric touches this piece of metal right here, that means that I am sewing a perfect quarter inch. I do not need to worry about sewing a scant quarter inch, in this case with the borders and the sashing. A regular quarter inch is fine. There we go. You can't sew over what things? Over the pins? Yeah, no, I talk quite often. Don't sew over your pins. It's not a good thing. Yeah. It's a horrible habit that I have. You shouldn't do it. You should not do it. It's a bad habit. Bad. Horrible habit. All right, take our pins out. And then we're gonna iron these. And then I cut it down to what, 59 inches? Yes, and then I'm gonna cut them down to 59 inches wide. I'm sorry, infantry. I know, especially since I've got my expensive machine today and not my cheap travel machine. Yeah. All right, so let's iron this. Same thing, you can iron your seam open or you can iron it to a side. It is not going to make a difference what you do because everything else in the quilt is already ironed to the side. You're not going to add any extra bulk by doing that. I must not have used the steam thing for a while. I got a bunch of dried crystals. Hey, teaching moment. Ready? Who knows why, whenever you do that, whenever you do this for steam, if you haven't done it for a while, why does it spit out a bunch of dried crap? Anyone know? We got a donate $25! Rosalyn, thank you so much for 
are donating $25 to Starlight. You are freaking amazing, and I love you. Thank you so much, Rosalind. So what are we up to? Wait, hold on. Let's see. Open. We are up to... Is that $60? Nice! Nice! It's not starch. I do not use any starch with this iron. Uh, Empestry is absolutely correct, and so is Jose. It is, um... It is the calcification of the minerals that are in the water. If you would like to avoid that, use only bottled or spring water. Personally, I don't care. I just use tap water. But there's some people that swear only by using um, bottled water so they don't get the calcification of the minerals. So, and that's gonna happen with any iron. It is perfectly okay. Thank you so much for picking up a pattern. I appreciate you. I know, Jose. You're pretty and you have a brain. Yes, and isolated or distilled with water. You're absolutely correct. You can use distilled water too. And that's what it does. And the reason why, and it's it's not just spitting, but it's also this as well, the calcification. So because it gets in the iron and it can cause it to spit later on. You know, different irons are different things. Like I have never ever had a problem with an Aliso spitting. No matter how long I've had one. One new notification from Amazon Shopping. Two shipments have arrived, including Pro Plan wet dog food. That's my mother. She buys all their dog food online. I've got it folded in half and I'm going to use up as much of the half strip as possible which is on top <laughs> sorry not sorry uh, so what I want to do is fold it to about the 30 there we go Okay, so this is folded, and let's trim it. Now, we went 59, so that'd be 29 and a half. So I'm gonna cut this on the 29 and a half. There we go, scrap. So there's one. And that's all we're doing for all five of them. And then we're going to pin them to the rows. So 
sometimes it takes me a bit to get this lined up. Okay, got it lined up. I'm so horrible, aren't I? I'm activating her Alexa. Uh, tell me a joke. <laughs> After she's donated a yard to, uh, to my Starlight Charity. A yard of fabric to my Starlight Charity Fund. <laughs> hey computer, tell me a joke. Why was the cheesecake always in a hurry? Because it was New York style. Ah, uh, I was ready for a geometry joke, but it was too plain. Now I'm back to square one. Is that what she told you? Hey Alexa, tell me a Star Wars joke. I like, hey computer, computer, tell me a Star Wars joke. Why is it so hard to surprise Darth Vader with gifts? He can always sense your presence. Uh... Oh, that's how you know your friends are when they set off your Alexa? Tell me a joke. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, I'm like tickling myself. I'm, yeah. This is making me stupidly happy setting off everyone's Alexas. Tell me a joke. With a Twitch beef jerky. <laughs> Computer, what's the weather like today? Right now in London, it's 72 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Today's forecast has clouds with a chance of showers, with a high of 72 degrees and a low of 52 degrees. By the way, I'm not sure we've met. You can introduce yourself to start personalizing your Alexa experience. Would you like to try it? No! Well, that's just creepy. I know, nuts! I like that joke, though. What do you call a cat with a twitch? Beef jerky. I like that. I like that. Oh, it was freezing over the weekend. Remember, I live in Canada. It gets pretty cold here. Although, it's about the same, um, the same latitude as, uh, as Buffalo, New York. So, the weather that Buffalo gets is the weather that we get, basically. So, we can get really bad snows. We can get really hot summers. All right, 29 and a half, because remember, we are cutting this at 29 and a half so that we have our 59 inch strips. All right, now we're ready to move on. So a strip to the top and bottom of row number one, and so the remaining three strips to the bottom of each remaining row. All right, so this one is row number one. So I need to sew a strip to the top and the bottom from the bottom to the top from the top to the bottom okay all right so let's pin this now what i did is i started right here in fact let me move this up a little bit so I started along the bottom here, and then I'll work my way out this way. Oh, wait, you know what I did? I did it wrong. I forgot that it needs to be exact because I've cut it exact. So, pin here, go all the way down, because remember, we're squaring this up so it is exact. Hello, child. Today is the last day for the quilt along, so we are assembling our quilt today. I know, right? We're done. We're done. Oh, here, get this. You'll like this. So I've been taking, it's a little bit more relaxed today than our other quilt alongs because we're just assembling. So we were taking ideas for the next quilt along. So these are the ones we've got. Pokemon, Doctor Who, Harry Potter, robots and droids. So like Star Wars, Portal, Borderlands, Stranger Things. Saturday morning cartoons, 
cult movies, so like Rocky Horror Picture Show, Princess Bride, um, things like that, 80s movies like Never Ending Story, Dark Crystal, or tabletop games. So like Monopoly, Clue, a D20. I think, like, out of those ones, my, like, top three there, you got Pokemon, Harry Potter, and one of those tabletops. Yeah. You can do a lot with those. Well, see, and it's all up to Nicole, though. So all I can do is get as many ideas as possible. Wait for sheep! Sheep for, um, sheep for, for brick. I'll give you sheep for brick. Sheep for brick. I know, right, Sharona? Like, you guys have been amazing with ideas today. So it's all up to Nicole, because Nicole is the designer. So she will decide what she can and can't work with. Yeah. So, but yeah, no, all I can do is give her all the ideas. All right, so now... I've got one on each side. You see here in the in the little camera in the upper right hand corner, because you can't really see the big one. I've gotta I've gotta spread it and then put a pin right in the center. And then I will work with one side at a time. It's interesting. Whenever I was teaching the um, I was teaching the Catan English paper piecing class at Gen Con. I had to admit to them that I am not a fan of Catan. I do not like Catan. It is not a fun game to me. Oh, that's cool! Nice! So, because they used to do a ribbon quest when it was, um, when Catan was owned by Mayfair. So, Nikki, remember Nikki? From Gen Con, we played games with her and her husband. Okay. So Nikki said that they, um, they had a button quest. So if you collected all five buttons and go to the Catan, then they give you a little robber sheet. It wasn't as big though. No. Mayfair did it really well. Yeah, no, Mayfair was the best. Like they, obviously they thought it out like hard. Like, I can't believe none of the other companies have done that since. Well, it'd be expensive. Plus, well, yeah, but you know how much money you would make from selling the games? Good like, point, because we, we bought a bunch just because... Yeah, because we played, them. yeah, we tried the games and we loved them and we bought them. Yeah. Okay, so now we have the other side. Whoops. That's why I love, like, when, um, the companies, they have, like, a demo that you can do. But yeah. it's, like, short. It's, like, five minutes. And they're like, this is basically just the game. And you're you're actively doing it. It's not like you're just watching them demonstrate it to you. Uh -huh. All right, so we've got half of this done. Let's do the other half. No, I, I agree. I like demoing, but I don't, and I can't demo during the day because I'm working the floor. Mm -hmm. So I like the Mayfair where you can go and play games at night and try them at night and demo them. For those of you watching on YouTube, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we are talking about Gen Con, which is Gen Con is the largest tabletop gaming convention in the world. It is in Indianapolis, Indiana, and I teach quilting classes there. Sometimes I just sit in her classes. Yep. Sometimes you will see the child there. <laughs> I'll sit there and do other stuff. Or I'll help you a little bit and then do other stuff. Yeah, sometimes you just draw. <laughs> Or work on your cross stitch from Nicole's classes. Which is fine. Color Brain Disney. Oh, I haven't heard of that one. Is it interesting? Yes, if I remember, Lego, thank you. For the U.S. account. Yes, Nikki. Sorry, I was reacting to stuff in the mod chat. <laughs> Alright, almost. Alright, so I've got this now added to the bottom of my first row. So let's flip this around and add it to the top. Because remember, we have five rows and four... Well, f four rows and five strips of the sashing. Sashing. So we're going to add the sashing... So the top and bottom of row one. I know, I can't talk. Sassing. Words? <laughs> Child? <laughs> Sassing instead of sh sass. <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> the 
are throwing a bunch of words are hard now in, in chat. <laughs> hey, that's fine. I used to say Pacific instead of specific. Mm-hmm. I have real problems with She that. did. She couldn't say the word specific, so she would say Pacific. Yeah. I'd be like, Pacifically. <laughs> variety, though, is, I think, out of, like, all the words I've struggled with, variety was the worst one. I couldn't do it. All right, so we're gonna line it up over here, and then bring it all the way down, and let's line it up on the right-hand side. Because what we're doing by cutting it ahead of time is we're making sure that we are, are, are squaring up our entire quilt, that our entire quilt should be the size that we want it to be. All right, so now, oops, there go my scissors. Oh. Now, let's stretch this and figure out the center. There you go. All right, now we can fold this and do it one half at a time. It is going to be a sassy quilt. I agree. Sassy, sassy quilt. Okay. I'm going to go take a nap. I'm running on like three hours of sleep. Okay. Do you have any homework? Yeah, that's why I keep taking that. Okay. <laughs> if I decide not to go to your dad's ball game tonight, do you want to play games or are you want to wait and do that Wednesday? Uh, up to you. It depends on the game. Okay. Well, Dinosaur Island. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, the, the, we got the new expansion and then you also have that new two player game, the Versus game. Um, yeah, well, my dad and I started that at Dinosaur Island now. Yeah. We also have my... He said that you might like my dice game that I bought. Okay. Yeah, we can take a look at it. <sighs> Alright, so we'll figure it out later. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rosalind, for being here. I appreciate you. Yeah, Satin sashes. Satin sashes. Oh, J so Ginger said, for my convention, I have to say satin sashes a lot, as we have neon green ones that my cords wear. Okay. Half the time it comes out as satin sashes, and my assistants and I both... <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Yeah, because words are hard. We're, I don't care who you are. Saying words is a hard thing to do. Yes, hon. I thought you were going to go take a nap. Yeah. You just got interested again? Yeah. No, I, I was picking up my snack if you don't. <laughs> You're just excited for those Tim Hortons smile cookies, aren't you? Well, all so th basically, the and there for tomorrow. Yeah. Um. So if you're in Canada, guys, tomorrow is Tim Hortons Smile Cookie Day. Well, no, this whole week is. Oh, the whole week is. Yeah, okay. they started today. Oh, okay. Um. So basically, for all of you that don't know, Smile Cookies are like a dollar, and the proceeds go towards your local charities. So, uh, by the way, it's cheaper to buy them in like. A dozen rather than like a dozen singles. Just as a tip. Um, and, and why is that? I don't know. But you, they tax you for the single ones, but the dozens they don't. Oh, because yes, after, after a certain after a, a certain dollar amount, if it's for charity, they don't have to add tax. Right. But if it were the small ones, they do. Yeah. Yes. For the dollar a piece ones, then yeah. But hey, Malfunct, how are you today? Malfunct, you're amazing, and thank you. And Malfunct, I need to shoot you a message for TwitchCon, because I want to let you know all the things that I do, because you're invited. Okay. Um, yes, I'm sorry, Jordan. Go ahead. Smile cookies. So, when it comes to, like, charity things, like, for Tim Hortons-wise, I don't mind, like, spending a good amount of money to, like, support them kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know. Like, the last thing we had was Camp Day, and I bought 20 bucks worth of stuff. So, I bought, uh, three dozen cookies, and I'm taking them to school. And, yeah, but apparently they're, like, a pain to make, and now I kind of feel bad because this baker that comes in at 4.30 a.m. has to make not only 200 of them, but an additional 36. Yeah, yeah it's for a good cause. Yeah. They can live with it. They can live with it. Just like I'm doing a freaking Twitch Sing stream on Thursday because it's a good cause. It's for Starlight. Uh, I am not. I am not streaming until Thursday. Okay. Well, if it could be 
class till then, I'll bring them on, like, bring a cookie on to show you. Okay, on Thursday? Yeah, but... Okay. Theoretically, so I bought them for student council. I forgot about this. I felt like I just bought three dozen for myself. Um, there's about 20 people on the student council, so I thought, you know what, it doesn't hurt. To have extras, no. No, so, um, I oh. should technically have, like... I forgot. I got. I gotta line this up on this side. Even dad said that, eh? He's like, I was like, it doesn't hurt to get an extra dozen. He's like, no, it doesn't. I'm like, so you're, you and I are just gonna munch on them for the week? Yep. <laughs> well, hopefully Malfunks, hopefully that cough goes away. You want it gone by TwitchCon. So you got, you got about a week. You got about a week for it to be gone away. And Malfunks, if you are in town next Wednesday, so next Wednesday, we are going to the Air and Space Museum in San Diego, if you want to come with us. Oh my gosh. So initially, you know, I was going to go to Disney, because uh, Disney World is out in California. So I was initially going to go to Disney World, but I did not make enough money at uh, Dragon Con to justify the cost of going to Disney World, because it's almost 200 bucks for a one-day park ticket. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. Well, all, I, it's actually cheaper for me to continue to go the day early than to wait an extra day. So I'm flying in on Tuesday. So I was looking for things to do. Aw, thank you so much, Azuls. I super appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, so I was looking for things to do. Well, apparently right behind the hotel that I'm staying at is the San Diego Zoo, which I took you to whenever we went to San Diego. You don't remember it, though, do you? No, I remember walking. Yeah, lots of walking. Lots of hills there. Uh, and then... So then, um, I was also looking, and in that same area where the San Diego Zoo is, um, there is the Air and Space Museum. So I was looking at it, and I'm going to be having Marianne with me, Capes and Arrows. So she is obsessed with space, and so I asked her, hey, so what do you want to do? We can do SeaWorld, which is also would be expensive, so which is why I actually didn't, didn't want to do SeaWorld, Jose. Um... So you've got SeaWorld, you, you've got a whole bunch of closer things that are less expensive. So she looks at the Air and Space Museum and she immediately starts freaking out because they have the Apollo capsule. And they've got a bunch of really cool things there. So, yeah, so she's very excited. So, because I was thinking of doing the zoo as well, because the zoo's not that expensive. So at this point, we are planning on going to uh, to the Air and Space Museum. So if anyone is going to TwitchCon early, if you're coming in on t if you're coming in Tuesday or even Wednesday morning, because I think Legolish is not arriving until around lunchtime on Wednesday, so we're gonna wait for him to get in and then go to the Air and Space. So if you want to join us at the Air and Space Museum, just shoot me a message. The zoo's like a full day. Thing. It really yeah, zoo zoo is a full day. I remember. Well, an Air and Space may be a full day too. I don't know, or we may just like walk around someplace else. You know, honestly, like, when it comes to, like, I don't know, doing stuff and, like, kind of learning as well, like, museum-wise. Now, remember, row number two, I only added the sashing to the bottom because row number one is the only one we do sashing to both the bottom and the top. Okay, go ahead, kid. Uh, I like the Smithsonian Museum, though. That yes. The, that I, honestly, that's, like, the best. And the Smithsonian's are free as well. Yeah. So you just, like, you're like, hey, I'm gonna go, and I'm missing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was missing one, and I forgot to iron it. I'm like, what am I? What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh no, she's gonna be so excited. Trust, yeah, no, she's very, very excited. We're gonna go to the Air and Space Museum. Yep. All right, go, go take a nap. There we are. Let me iron this last one since I forgot. Oops. I gotta warm it up. All right, I will work on this one instead. Matt. No, not that one. Not that one. That one. Man, I can push the buttons. I can push those buttons. Yes, and the Smithsonian is also free. Because free is best price. I do not think the air and space in San Diego is free. I think you have to pay, but I don't think it's the $200. Because it's not even that. It is, so for Disney, it's the $200 uh, 
um, for the park ticket, plus the cost to rent a car and drive there for gas. As you saw the last one, I did something a little bit differently. I worked from the left to the right a little bit, and then I went on the other side and worked from the right to the left, and just kind of worked in towards the middle. That's the other way that you can do to balance it out. I actually like this way a little bit easier. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, so if you, if Malfunk, if you decide to come out a day earlier and be there, Wednesday, you're more than welcome to come. It is. Gas in California is really expensive. So, and we're going to be walking to the air and space. It's literally behind our hotel. I think it's maybe a 10 minute walk. Okay, but I wanted to make sure you knew that you were invited. in California yet is an escape room. That would be fun to do with a bunch of friends. There we go. All right, that one is done. All right, let's iron this one. I actually have only ever been to an escape room one time. It was with um, uh, Imperial. Sue's from St. Jude. Positively Stitched. I couldn't, I was trying to think of her name. Positively Stitched. And another dude from another charity. I don't remember his name. But it was a lot of fun. And we beat it. We did it. All right, last but not least, we are putting this on the bottom as well. So everything is on the bottom. Oops. I didn't cut this one yet. Heh! <laughs> you did four during Gen Con? Nice. We'll have to do that next year, Nikki. We'll have to schedule an escape room for the evening. Nope, oh, not enough now. I went too far. That should be good. That should be good. 29 and a half? Yes. Nice. Yeah, you know what? And if he doesn't he doesn't have to go, right? He, there's other things that you can do. That's the best thing about Gen Con, is that if you go with somebody that doesn't like necessarily the same stuff that you do, you guys can do different things. You, you don't have to stay together. You can split up. There we go. All right. Let's pin it to the left. Yeah, 
the nice the reason why this stream's a little bit more relaxed and we're chatting a bit more is there's really not a lot of instructions for assembly. It's pretty darn easy. Once you've got your blocks together, it's pretty easy to, uh, to put stuff together. So are there any questions at all about the quilt along with these, with the assembly or each, any of the blocks, any of the techniques, anything at all that you guys have? Well, and you also join me in my classes sometimes. No, Gen Con is definitely one of those conventions where if you're walking around by yourself and doing things alone, you don't feel weird. It's great. Okay, pinning it to the right. Yeah, for those of you that don't know Nikki, I met her a year and a half ago at Gen Con 2018. She took one of my classes and then joined us here on Twitch, and then the rest is history. I like your husband too, he's a great guy. this for this book I haven't written that yet I really should there we go okay So let's sew it. Okay, sewing rows. Same exact thing. Remember, we want to make sure that we... There we go. Thanks, Jose. Jose found a bunch of escape rooms already for me in San Diego to pass it along. I think, um... I think we decided, Lego, to do the cat cafe Thursday night. Guys, there's a cat cafe. Unless you want to do it Wednesday night. We can do it Wednesday night or we can do it Thursday night. So it's up to you which day you want to do it and then we can, we can figure it out. We can make a reservation and figure it out. I know. Oh, you know I'm getting all the pictures of the cats at the cat cafe. Okay, well, well, as soon as you get there, we're gonna go to um, uh, Air and Space. So whenever you get there, you can drop the stuff off at our hotel. And then whenever um, the place that you're staying at Wednesday night opens up, you can go and take your stuff and put it in there. Or you can just, whenever it's time for you to go to sleep, just go and take it there. You know, whatever. But yeah, you don't have to carry your stuff around. Drop it off at our hotel. But yeah, cat cafe. Yeah, then do things. Yeah, so we'll go. Um, we'll do Aaron's face. We should decide if we're gonna go cat cafe Wednesday or Thursday because we need to make a reservation. Because we don't want too many people with the cats, right? And Thursday's setup should not be too long. It should not take long at all. Thursday's setup should be a breeze. I think um, Casey gets in 
on Thursday at like 10 a.m. or something, so she can definitely help with the setup. We'll get, we'll rent a car, go get the tables, get our badges, and bring the stuff up. That's true. If we want to, you're right. If we want to have like a group thing, we should do it Thursday and then put it out there. Because then Friday is one of my um, stream team meetups. It's Friday night. You and Capes can come if you guys want. It's up to you. Or you just go do your own thing. Whatever. Uh, Saturday? I don't think I have any plans. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, so you're saying the opposite. You're saying we should go Wednesday because there's going to be more people out there in, on Thursday, so it's better to get a reservation. I get you. Okay, yeah, I'll look at it. There we are. Now, yeah, same exact thing with these whenever we're sewing our sashing on. We are doing it with a quarter inch seam. So I'm just touching the piece of metal with my quarter inch piecing foot. Now this one, remember we have sashing on both sides. So I'm gonna take this, set this aside, and I'm gonna redo the other side when this one's done. Yes. Okay, I'll talk to Capes. I'll talk to Capes and we can decide. Taste must be exquisite. Mombi Dex, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I love San Diego. San Diego is one of my favorite cities. Like I, every time I go there, this is my fourth trip. Yes, Lego, yes. Um, yes. The, uh, this is my fourth trip to San Diego. I love that city. It is so pretty. The only thing that stinks is they have an outdoor market on Saturdays and Sundays. It's like 11 to 5. And I'm like, I'm going to be in TwitchCon working. I can't go to the market because I'm going to be an artist alley. There we go. All right, let's do the other side of this one. Oh, it's your first time going? Fantastic. I will be in the artist alley. I have a table. Uh, if you are walking into the artist alley from the loot cave, so we are surrounded by the loot cave and the um, food court. If you're walking into the artist alley from the loot cave, we are literally dre dead center, right in front of you. Dead center. But yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. It's interesting. Everyone's been talking to me about which parties are you going to, which things are being posted, with this, with this, with this, and I'm like, I'm not going to any. I may go to the creative suite, but that's about it. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to meetups, and I'm going for meetings, and I'm going to network and to talk to people. I am not really about the parties. I'm about the, let's get some business done. And then for the Artist Alley table, I am sharing with the, the famous Casey Renee Cosplay, who won the TwitchCon Cosplay Contest last year. World famous cosplayer. She is amazing and awesome, and I'm very excited to share space with her at Artist Alley. Because she's awesome. She's also my friend. 
Ja, wie? Wie? See, and that's the thing is, I'm not... No, and there's literally... You're, and, and Lego's absolutely right. There's literally not enough time to do everything. So, I can go to the party. Uh, my Artist Alley ticket actually includes the party. I didn't go last year. I haven't... I've never been to a TwitchCon party. I don't... To me, that's too many people. I don't... I, I've been working all day long. Because my problem is... I'm there to make money. I'm there to network and I'm there to to make money in the artist alley because this is my living. This is what I do. So <coughs> thank you very much for picking up a pattern. I appreciate you. So I'm tired by the end of the day. I just want to relax, maybe have a glass of wine and and hang out with people that I have planned on hanging out with. I don't want to go to a big party where there's going to be a, a ton of people in my face and in my space because I just had that the entire day. Yeah, and you know where to find us, Malfunct. You, you're part of the uh, Creative Suites Discord, right? And yes, Lego, I do say so. Because after I'm done with my meetups, after I'm done with my meetings, I'm prom I'm, I will always make an appearance with Vex and Colin. And 316. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna hang out. Okay. Scrap fabric. Alright, let's take all of our pins out because I'm a horrible person and I sew over my pins. It is a bad, bad habit that I do. Don't do it. It's interesting. You think just by looking at the instructions that this is, um, it's not a lot of time, that sashing doesn't take time at all. It, it takes about the same amount of time as making one of the blocks does. Yes. Although, we haven't seen it yet, but from the photos and from the layouts, the room that Vex um, booked this year, it looks like there are two doors. So it looks like we have an inner and an outer door. So I may not have to shush people this year. Although, I am going to be bringing a uh, donation box and encourage people to put leftover dollar bills and change and stuff in there to help Vex with the cost of the sweet and all the alcohol that he has. Mombi, you sew over your pins too! It's a horrible thing. We're not supposed to. You're not supposed to sew over your pins. It's a bad thing to do. Bad, bad, bad. It is, it can throw the timing off your machine. You can break your needle and poke yourself in the eye. I know, I, apparently I may be out of a job, but, but, I am still mom. I am still con mom. I am still going to make sure that everyone is safe. I'm still going to make sure that I introduce myself to everyone and I meet everyone. And I am there if anyone needs a mom. Because that's what I do. Uh, two more, and then we're going to iron these, and then we're going to start putting the rows together. That's not true, Minion Mama. There's a lot of people that don't know who I am. In fact, last year, Malfunk didn't know who I was, and Malfunk met me in the creative suite. Yep, yep, it's not a good thing, but I... You may be like me. Wait, I don't know what those initials are, Lego. So, yeah, you may be like me in that, um, I'm, I'm not gonna stop. I know. I know that I, I shouldn't be sewing over my pins, but I do it anyway. That's true. 
That is true. I do introduce myself to everyone. And I make sure, because I, I try to know everyone, right? I try to make sure I know who the people are. I try to make sure that I know who to go to for things. Because the key to networking is knowing who is the right person for the right thing. Yeah, when you're lazy, I know, right? For me, it's not a matter of lazy. For me, it's a matter of, um, uh, of, uh, making sure things are perfectly lined up because if I sew over the pins it is perfectly lined up and I'm not have to worry about that oh is that what that is oh I don't know Lego I'm an old woman remember I don't know uh, lingo I think I need some more water. I'm out of water. Is there any more water in the water thing? Just a little bit. I think I have to go get some more water. Do I have any water bottles down here? So I don't have to go all the way upstairs. I got my pop. I got my pop. Water. Yeah, I don't see any water bottles. I may have to run upstairs. I may have to run upstairs. All right, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, I'll be right back. Two, three, late. I don't see a 10. To me, that looks like I took three seconds, so thank you very much. Yeah, no, Marley's sleeping. Marley's like, what? You actually want me to do something? All right, same exact thing as whenever we sewed the rows together. Just do what's easy. Just iron it away. Because you've already ironed all of your seams to one side. It does, it's not going to add any extra bulk to do this. Now, if you really want to iron your seams open, you can iron them open. Nice, malfunct. Yeah, and Marley's got a, a, a hard life. He has a very long, hard life. I mean, the life of, of a dog in this house. Oh, let me tell you. All right, there's one. I mean, all the playing, all of the bone chewing, all of the chasing the squirrels in the backyard. Oh, it's, it's a tough life. Yes, you must bork and chase all the squirrels. Oh yeah, oh, oh, the belly rubs, yes, oh. How could I forget the horrible belly rubs? Oh my gosh, such a tough life. Seriously, all those belly rubs, they're just so hard. Oh, such a hard life. Thank you. 
Yeah, sucking humans in so you get treats twice. Yes. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. We, we never give him multiple treats. We're horrible. He gets no treats. No treats for Marley. Oh my gosh. So yesterday, my husband and I were like, we were exhausted. We were absolutely exhausted. So we wanted to take a nap. So I go upstairs. He says, like he always does when we go to bed, who wants to go to bed? And the dogs get all excited because they get to run upstairs, they get a treat, and then we go to sleep. Well, we're taking a nap. So he goes, who wants to go to bed? We go up there. And he says, okay, give them a treat. I'm like, we're not actually going to bed. He goes, but we're laying in the bed and we're going to sleep. They get a treat. between sashing and binding and borders so what what is sashing what is what are borders what's the difference let's do some education While I'm waiting for people to tell me what they think the difference between sashing and boarding is, board boarding, the sashing and borders. Nikki, are you are you missing the uh, arrow goes to the right, so right over left and pin it into place. Arrow goes to the left, so left over right pin into place. Are, are you are you missing that? Technically, no, Jose. And yes, Sharona. So, sashing can go around the outside, but it also goes on the inside. So the difference is sashing connects all of your blocks together, but you also, if you take a look at the bottom left-hand side, there's no borders on that at all. It's just sashing. So the outside area is part of the sashing because that's what frames all of the blocks. So the um, sashing basically frames blocks. Borders just go around the edging and that is it. So you can add additional borders around the outside of this, but there's no borders that are included in the actual pattern. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is number two, this is number one. All right, so let's take the first one. Here's row number one. And then here's row number two. Let's make sure that I do it. Yes. And you can have borders without sashing. So that you can put borders around any quilt. It's just if you have blocks and you frame the blocks, the framing is what's called the sashing. Thanks, Sharona. All right, so let's take this. Same exact thing. Everything is cut perfect. So all you need to do is pin it. So let's fold this down. So I lined this up perfectly here. Uh, let me move that up a little bit more. So I lined this up perfectly right there. And then I'm just pinning everything into place. Now, once 
once I get to here, here's the trick with the sashing. You want to line up the board, the blocks. Let me take one more pin out. So here we have to make sure, and this is the trick to make sure that these line up here. So you have to make sure it's perfect. So right there, that's lined up. And then I'm gonna put pins in this and then finish the rest of this block. Now, after we sew these rows together, so we're gonna sew these two and the next two, and then we'll sew that to that. Then we get to put the sashing on the left and the right of the quilt. <coughs> Thank you so much for picking up that pattern. I appreciate it. Okay, so this is done. We can fold that. And let's bring this out. So before I do anything else, I have stopped right here. I need to check this area. So I need to check this sashing. So again, how you do that, lay it flush here. Take this and lift it up until you can see it. Now, you can see here, it's off to the left. So it's off. So what I need to do is shift this to the right until it's lined up. Once it's lined up, then lay it back down again and put pins in it. All right, and then we're gonna go back here and stretch this block out to make sure that it all lines up. And that's the trick, right? Whenever you're doing sashing, you want the blocks to line up. You want it to look like it's perfect, that you cut out every single thing and just popped it in there. Sharona, this is also how I do the sashing on the um, charity quilts, the cross-stitch charity quilts. Basically, anything you want to frame, anything that you have blocks for, t-shirt quilts, cross-stitch blocks, regular blocks in a quilt. I even got these little small Dr. Seuss panels one time and framed them and sashed them. All right, so now let's go to the end. And in this case, remember, we're just pinning the very end. Stretching it out to make sure it's all straight and then putting pins in it. Uh, Sharona, I am putting this video up on YouTube. So you can always go back and rewatch it anytime. one of the videos for the quilt along is up on YouTube. There we go. So there is our first one. So let's set that aside. Okay, so this is number three. So this is gonna get laid down. Oh, what'd I do? Hi, I'm Tony. I what'd am I do? a professional video game comic book quilt. My, that's the only problem. <laughs> that's the only problem with having my, um, my stream deck on my phone. My, my hand hit it. My hand hit it. Yes! I'm a pro streamer. Pro streamer, people. Pro streamer. Welcome back, Anriel. Okay. All right, so that's number three. Here's number four. So we're just taking this and laying it just like that. Four onto three. Okay, first off. Did I scare you with the fabric? 
You. Oh, you're such a pest. I know I love you. I know. There you go. Okay. We're going to line it up on the left hand side. So this is all lined up right here. So I'm going to put a pin in it. And then, this is nice and flat. Let's take this. Let's fold it up. Oh, it's off. It's to the left. Okay, so let's shift this to the right. That's now lined up. And let's put a pin in it. All right, let's stretch this part out. And we're gonna put pins in them. Now, for anyone just popping in, please do not forget, we are doing a special charity stream this Thursday. We are raising money for Starlight. And I'm going to be doing a Twitch Sing stream. I'm giving in. I'm doing Twitch Sings. I am actually doing it. I cannot sing. I hate singing. But I'm doing this for you and for charity. All right, I'll see you later, Jose. Thank you for being here. So, you know that I am the giveaway queen. So what can you win? This Thursday, you could win your choice if you donate to Starlight. Every $5 gets you one raffle ticket to win. You could win scrap fabrics from this quilt, scrap fabrics from the cosplay quilt exhibit, scrap fabrics from, um, oh my gosh, Anne company, Cosmic Fabric Creations. Uh, and Cosmic Fabric Creations is also donating a yard of mermaid fabric. You could also win one of five copies of Scrap Stash to Quilts. What to do with your fabric stash? Every five dollars you donate, you get a ticket to win. And it's only until Thursday. Line up the bottom right corner. pins in it there we go all right let's sew it I got now I got to put you down unless are you gonna sit in my lap while I sew oh wait not that one no not that one not that one why could I not push the buttons correctly like, seriously, why can I not push the right buttons? It's like it's a Monday or something. All right. Let's see if he, uh, you really, you really just want to stay in my lap, don't you? All right, same thing I did before. Hey, Raider Chris! Same thing I did before. I am just using a quarter inch seam. 
if it touches the piece of metal on my quarter inch piecing foot with guide, I am sewing a perfect quarter inch. Buttons are hard. Seriously, it's Monday. It's Monday and we are finishing up the quilt along. Today is the last quilt along stream. Today is it, people. Today is it. And we're raising money for Starlight. Yes, the quilt top will be done after this. Quilt top is done. You still have to uh, baste it, quilt it, and bind it. I haven't decided if I'm going to quilt this one myself or if I'm going to give it to the long armor again. Alright, there's one. Oh. Yeah, I haven't decided what I'm doing with it. I'll, I'll, I'll decide eventually. I mean, I basically have two of the same quilt. Hi. Are you my good boy? You are. You're a good. Are you a good boy? You are. And he says, I do not want to go anywhere, mama. I am a good, I'm a good boy. I will sit in your lap as you sew. Uh, not as a booklet. It is being turned, oh, that's right. Nikki, you weren't here in the beginning. So, Nikki, I made two announcements while we were waiting, while uh, in the very beginning. Uh, announcement number one. This entire quilt along is being turned into a book that will be available in December. Announcement number two, my current book, Designing Block Quilts, how to design and make your own pixel quilts is going to be released next Monday as a PDF. And actually, if you search on Amazon right now, you can actually pre-order it right now. So it's $9.99. And if you have purchased the book through Amazon, you can get the ebook for $3. I forgot to mention that earlier. And then uh, this book, if you have purchased blocks, so not use the free code, but if you have actually spent money to purchase these blocks, I will give you a discount code for this book when it's released. But the discount code is only going to work for if you order them from me, not if you order them from Amazon. Because Amazon does like weird things with their codes. Hi. Are you a good boy? You're so happy in a lap, aren't you? You're such a good boy. He says, yes. I am good boy. I am very good boy. If I go to, if we finish this in time so I can go to softball, so I can go to softball tonight. Do you want to come with me, Marley? Do you want to come with me to ball? Be good boy. Have all, have all the pets. Have people at the ballpark all come and pet you because you're good and you're amazing and, and they all love you? Do, you? do you want that? He says, yes, of course I do. Of course I do. Okay. Boy. All right, time for Marley Streamer. There you go. There's Marley Streamer. All right. Now comes bulk management. Bulk management because we have large, it's now starting to put things together. It's larger. 
Now, you notice I have the um, uh, sashing on the top. I find it's easier to iron the sashing away than it is to iron the actual blocks away. Just like that. Okay, set that aside. Let's do this one. Same thing. I find it's easier. There we go. I swear, this entire stream, I have been paranoid about flipping a block. I can't believe I didn't do it. Because do you know how many times I flip freaking blocks? Not just the pieces. Now, if you go to Houston and you're able to see the cosplay exhibit, uh, there is a mistake in every single one of those cosplay quilts. I flipped a piece in all four of them, and I did not do it on purpose. The one I did not even notice until I was laying it out the other day. Okay, so we wanna put block the rows one and two down first. I mean, it wouldn't be one of my quilts unless it had a flipped piece, right? Okay, and then here's three and four. So I'm gonna take three and four And let's flip it face down. Just like that. Let's make sure I get enough space. All right, first thing I wanna do is pin this corner right here. Oh, oh, they're not mistakes, they're quirks. That's, that's one of my quirks is I always flip things. All right, and then let's lay these out. All right, and let's fold this up. No, holy crud, that's off. Look how off that is. That is like really, really off. Like really off. All right, let's shift this. Okay, now that is not off. Let's pin this in place. Okay, so now let's go back and pin the rest of the seams. You know what, that, that is absolutely true. My pieces are always unique. Now, after I finish pinning this, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit because I know that I have to cut and combine some, uh, some pieces for the sashing for the sides, for the right and the left. So what I'm gonna do after I finish this is I'm gonna set it on the machine and then I'm gonna skip ahead and see what I need to cut for the pieces for the right and left. Okay, lay this straight out. And fold this up. Whoa, that's off to the right. I don't think I've ever been that far off to the right before. All right, let's shift this. Okay, is that still good? No. Right there. That should be good. Yes, that is good. All right, let's pin that one. Just think, Nikki, after today's stream, we can disable the uh, welcome to the quilt along. Are you proud of me that I updated it today? The only thing I forgot to do today was turn on my bot. 
so that whenever uh, someone subbed before I went live, I had to go back in and add the pixels. I mean, let's be honest. This is me. I can't have everything 100% done correctly, right? I, I'm gonna, I have to forget something. I even have a list of all the things I have to do before I start streaming. And I, I still miss things. Oh, I haven't mentioned pretzel yet this stream. If you like the music you are listening to, it is a free service from pretzel. Pretzel rocks is what it is called. If you like the song that you hear, you can look in the chat box in the chat window for the, uh, for the link. Type that link in your browser and it'll take you right there that you can get that music. Hey, Digidilly, how are you today? There we go. All right. So remember, I said I was going to set this aside because we have to look at the next part. All right. So this is number eight. Five more strips. Of three and a half. Okay. So the extra fabric I threw aside. Let's cut five more strips from here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we put that away. Thank you very much, Digidilly. I appreciate that. We are almost finished. We are just doing the last stage. We are doing the assembly for our quilt along. Okay, so we need to assemble two plus a half. So same exact thing that I did before. There we go. Oops. There you go. So trim, remember to trim off the selvage before you actually pin it. That is extremely important. Okay, so there's two. And a half. Remember right sides together, right side to right side. And pin it. Perfect. Next. Same exact thing. That was either the right or the left. I don't know. One of them. Oh, are they on? No, no, no. They, um, Nikki. And the time, they're not on for the timer. For the regular commands, they're fine. You can leave them alone as long as no one puts them in. No one does exclamation in that thing. It's just the timers that I mean to turn off. We can turn off the timer for the quilt along. I think the, the bingo and the Lego timers are turned off already.
Okay. Yep, making sure. Yeah, no, because no one's going to put it in there unless they need to. Or they do something like Jose did earlier and just put the wrong one in. Okay, right sides to right sides. This is the last sashing that I am sewing together. There we go. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, are you gonna you gonna stay in my lap while I sew? We're gonna we're sewing we're sewing the quilt together. Yeah, I know it's a lot of fabric, isn't it? I know. Oh, Daddy must be home from work. <gasps> Who's that? Oh, oh, there goes Alfred. There goes Marley. There we go. I know. Nikki, when did you do that? Who who added a Soleil one? You just add oh my god, we don't have an Alfred one, do we? You just added it? Oh my gosh. That is so stinking cute. <gasps> and you changed Marley? Although, I wait, I wouldn't say, oh my god, Alfred was already there. Okay, so the Alfred one, I, oh, that's how you knew about all the other one commands. The Alfred doesn't bark, like, ever. So I wouldn't say he's ruler of the Borks. So what, so what, what is, what's Alfred ruler of? We should probably update that one to something else. Because Alfred, I mean, he does not bark at all. Well, no, because he's king of the blanket fort. Ruler of, and you don't want to go treats. He, he loves the belly rubs, but that's also Marley. Marley's belly rubs. Ruler of big ears or ruler of cute? Because, I mean, let's face it, he really is, he is pretty darn cute. Alfred! I like that. Big eared ruler of cute. That is cute. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. Well, no. And he's not really big ear. Well, he does have big ears. He has bigger. He has big eyes too. Alfred. Oh, that's Marley. Hi, Marley. Oh, here he comes. <gasps> Hi, Marley, I know. I already picked you up. Come here, Alfred. Hello. Oh, H hello. Hi. Hi. You wanna get... Hi. <gasps> Hi. I I know. You're... you're they're, they're making your, your command. They're making your command. I know, they're figuring out what you're ruler of. Are you ruler of the cute? You are, thank you. Thank you. Are you ruler of the cute? Oh, too late. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. You just rub my belly. <laughs> yeah. 
figured ruler FQ. Thank you for subscribing to Kuku. Grab your needles and head down to the sweatshop. <coughs> I, I mean, factory. <laughs> so 13 months, my lady, I have missed you. Magpie, thank you so much for that resub. I super appreciate you. Thank you very much for the 13 months. Thank you, Magpie. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I like tis I, Alfred Cute of the King of the Blanket Fort. Big eared ruler of cute. I like that. Mwah. Mwah. I love you guys. I love you. You're so cute. Oh yeah. You're very, very cute. Oh wait, hold on. You can't you can't see them. You can't what am I doing? You What? There you go. There's Soleil and Marley and Alfred. Such a good boy. He is. Well, it's because it's the, um, this camera is a very inexpensive camera. So, it's the, the cheapo, um, oh, not that one. Hello. That's not what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. It's the, um, it's the very inexpensive camera. Like, the, the one that you first get when you start streaming. The cheapest camera I got. So, what you 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 like that face? Did you did you like the face? Uh, and Magpie, if you want to see your pixel count, it's exclamation my pixels. And of course, that is what you can spend your pixels on. I will take care of all of that when I get back from New York Comic Con. And don't forget, Thursday, 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 Thursday is the next stream, Thursday night. We are doing a charity stream to raise money for Starlight. $5 gets you a ticket to win scrap fabric, a scrap book, and there'll be other little things I'm gonna be giving away on Thursday. So one day only, one stream only for Starlight this Thursday. Five dollars gets you... Did I take the pins out? I did not. Five dollars gets you your tickets. All right, let me get the pins out and then let me iron everything. And then it's just adding on the sashing to the left and right and we're done. And this took just as much time as a block did. Now, borders. If you would like to add extra borders after you finish the sashing is the time to add them. Do not replace the outside sashing with a border because it just won't look right because it'll be a different color. But if you want to put borders around, if you want to put borders around the sashing on the outside, that's perfectly fine. Add as many borders as you like. All right. So... Bulk management. There you go. All right, and then let's do the left and the right sashings. Same exact thing as we did before. So all I'm doing is ironing it out. There's the one, and here's the two. Guys, we're almost done. We are almost done. go. 
So all I'm doing is ironing this out for the sashing. I am not doing anything else, nothing special. I'm ironing my seam to one side. I am not ironing it open. There we go. All right, I'm gonna leave that there for right now. Well, why can I not find the right things? There, it's that one. It's that one. I don't need that anymore. I don't need this anymore. I don't need that anymore. I will need that. Okay, it does not make a difference which side you do first. Just take one of the sides. And we're going to start it. End to end. Because remember, we cut... Oh, wait. I didn't cut it. <sighs> cut it down to 85 inches. Okay. I'm going to cheat. I'm cheating. This is the cheater way. I'm not cutting it down to 85 inches. I'm doing it the cheater way. I'm just gonna add it on and then cut it at the end. Because cutting it to 85 inches is kind of hard. I know. Do you know how often I do not follow my own instructions? say that I don't know what you're talking about I would never say that I, I think I think someone's full of something uh, filming for YouTube what? I am filming for YouTube by the way work. no but I can hear everything you're doing <laughs> I I Apologize for the for the the belch my husband did. So excuse him. What? You don't have a wait, you got a you got a gift? What? I don't Nikki, I don't know what you're talking about. I I I'm shocked. Shocked I tell you. A gift that for something about do as I say, not as I do? Sounds like fake news. We are almost done. I know, I keep saying that because I have to keep reminding myself because the big quilts, it takes so long to sew on the left and the right sashing. So I gotta tell myself over and over and over, well, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Keep working, it's okay. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this just like that. Extra fabric, 
going in the, the kit that you can win. I know, right? I think I can. I think I can. All right, let's do the next one. And getting all the pins in there. You know how I'm breaking it up is, there you go, there's one row. One down, three to go. Because really, this is so monotonous at this point. Like, it's been so exciting making all of the blocks until now, and now it's the monotony of adding the sashing. But, I actually have seen some quilts where people decided not to do any kind of border or sashing. It just does not look right. It's, the whole point of sashing and borders is to frame your quilt and to make it look nice. Just like if you have a really, really nice piece of art or a picture, if you add a mat, it helps frame it and it makes it look really nice. So think of your quilts as the same way. There's two down. Almost there. And then once I get these in, we will sew it, iron it, and it's done. Done, done, done. 13 weeks over a 14 week period has been leading up to this moment. All right, extra scrap that you could win on Thursday if you donate to Starlight. All right, let's do this. Let's see, free motion. Ready? Oops, there we go. Perfect. All right. Now, because I have each side, I only have one quilt that I am sewing. Before, remember whenever I had sewn it on each side, I had it pinned on one side and the other, I would put it in, I would put a different piece in, and then flip that piece, or the original piece around to then sew the other side. Well, we can't do that, this is it. This is the last bit of the quilt. So instead, what I'm going to do is just go from one right to the other. So there's two options. You can either put your scrap fabric back in or just sew the other side. I mean, 
this is a double size quilt, you can just pick the whole thing up and turn it around and sew it. It's actually a double verging on a queen, is how big this quilt is. Yeah, our final dimensions are 85. I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, yes. Ignore, ignore that. I thought you said 445. Okay, because I'm almost finished and I was going to go. It's up to you. All right, so we got our one side. Now let's do the other side. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Do not. Yeah, it's big. It's just big. Do not sew over your pins. I say that every time I do it. Do not sew over your pins. Oh, you see what I did? I, I pulled this and then I broke it. I broke my thread. Because I was, I was a little bit rough with my thread. It's okay. I can re I can redo it. Whenever I turned the whole thing around, I was a little rough with it. And then I pulled the thread and broke it. All right, let's try this again. All right, so here's the end of the last one. Okay, now here's the beginning of the other side. That's not that hard. It's a really big quilt. Because it's a really big quilt, you can do that. I still can't believe that I'm done. I still cannot believe that this is the end. That I am not going to be streaming next Monday as part of the quilt along. Hopefully if you are in a quilt store right now and you are finishing up your quilt, I haven't seen any questions at all, so hopefully you guys are doing, are you going well? Please, 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 if you made this, I want to see pictures in our Facebook group. I want to see pictures of your finished quilts. There we go. All right, scrap fabric. Scrap, scrap fabric in. And let's take the pins out. And then I will iron these. Can you guess which way I'm going to iron the left and the right? Do you think I'm gonna iron my seams open? Do you think I'm gonna iron them towards the quilts or away from the quilt? Which one is going to be the easiest possible way to iron this sashing? It honestly doesn't matter. You're right. It does not make a difference what you do, but I can open. <laughs> Open's not the easiest. Open's the hardest. I am going to be ironing this sashing away, away, away from the quilt. Away, 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 away. All right, let's take the, I know. And that's what feels natural to me. Which is why I say it doesn't make a difference what you do because. Now remember guys, if you want to win the scrap fabric from this quilt right here in my hands, 
donate to Starlight. Oops, down there. Donate to Starlight. We are trying to raise $2,000 by the end of the stream next Thursday. Please, please, please. All right. You ready? You ready for the final ironing? It's the final countdown. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. The final countdown. Yeah, you notice how I am not locking in those seams? It's just too much work. At this point with the bulk management, it is just too much work. It's fine. This is fine. There we go. It's not on fire, so it's fine. All right. This is it, guys. Open. Where's my opening? Start. Wait, that's not, that's not it. That's it. I can push buttons. Pro Strimmer, right here. I can push the buttons. It's done. Now, you see what I mean by how big this quilt is? Can you imagine people that were going, oh, just make the blocks bigger? Yeah, no. There you go. There's our quilt. Our quilt top is done. Give yourselves a round of applause and a pat on the back. If you completed it with us, we are done. If you are coming to Quilt Market or Quilt Festival, you can see mine in person. It is in Houston at the end of October, beginning of November. Whew. What do you mean those are, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Man, we're done, guys, we did it. We did it. Thank you, Malfunct, I appreciate that. And thank you, guys, thank you very much. All right. That's it for today. We're going to call it a stream. So I'll be back on Thursday. I'll be back Thursday with the, uh, the charity stream to raise money for Starlight. We're going to be playing Twitch Sings. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. And this is it for the Quilt Along. So the next Quilt Along related stream we're going to do is at the end of November. We're going to be at um, Jan's home studio and she's going to teach us what to do with our scraps. So get your scraps together. Make sure you get the quilts finished by then. If you want to join us, it's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be amazing. All right, so where are we going to go? Um, hmm. Nikki, I'm going to let you pick this time. Either one or three. So let's either go to the first or the third one. What do you think? They're both great choices. All right, so thank you very much, guys. We're going to go raid an amazing, awesome, fantastic person. Let's see. And I will be back Thursday. Please stick around for the raid if you were here with me live. Let's go give someone our love. I love you guys. Thank you very much. Seriously, thank you. So I'll be back Thursday. Okay. Uh, we're going to go raid the amazing, fantastic, awesome 2D artist, Debbie Cat. She's pretty cool. So we're going to go raid her. Give her some love. I love you guys. I'll see you Thursday.